Although we can't show you every function in the SciPy and NumPy modules, one that we think you might find particularly useful in the future is SciPy.stats.linregress. And what this does is it allows you to do linear regression in SciPy. So we're going to leave you to write a markdown cell that explains the parameters and the outputs of this function. But let's show you how to get to the documentation and understand what that means. So let's open a new tab and go to our favorite search engine. Just going to zoom in. Now, the easiest way to search is probably to say SciPy, which is the module we're interested in, and then linear regression, which is what we're trying to do. You don't need to worry about what the function name is, just describe what you're trying to do. And at least in my search engine, the top answer is scipy.stats.limregress as part of the scipy docs. So you should really recognize what this looks like because it's identical in format to the NumPy documentation. We have a function name at the top here, and then we can see what parameters we have, and they're described in detail here in this section. So in our case, we just have two parameters, x and y. And if only x is given, then it's a two-dimensional array. If y is given, then it's two one-dimensional arrays. The return is five different things, which is the slope. So if we think about linear regression, we're essentially trying to fit a line like this. So it's the slope of our line the intercept where the line hits the y-axis, the r-value, which is a measure of how good that uh, fit is, so somewhere near 1 is great, somewhere near 0 is bad, the p-value, and you can read about how, which statistical test is being used here, and then finally the standard error on the estimated gradient. You can see here, just like NumPy, there's some see also functions, and these functions will allow you to do a similar thing, but they're a bit more complicated. So if we scroll down to the examples, we can see a step-by-step -step system. Don't worry about this. This is to do with plotting. Um, you can also see they've imported stats in a slightly different way to us, and that's also fine. So they've created some random data using NumPy's own np.random, and then they've done some statistical analysis on x and y by using linear regression. And they've printed out the information about the slope and the intercept the r-squared value, and then finally they've plotted this data, which is something we're going to show in the next workbook.